Monday of this week was the horrible anniversary, 45 years, of what the Supreme Court did, and this video is about that, a most grievous sin. God has put this in my mind to share it with you. There is a most grievous sin incurred specially in this country, which offends God immensely, the legalized killing of babies in the womb. In 1973, the Supreme Court decided to legislate against God, and killing a perfectly created human being was made legal. Since then, over 61 million babies have been killed in their mother's womb in this country alone. In the eyes of God, this is murder, and it is a sin that the whole country is responsible for. During presidential campaigns, some candidates have the audacity of proclaiming they are pro-choice. In other words, they are pro-killing babies in the womb. They are saying that a woman has the right to decide on somebody else's life, and that human being in the womb has no right to defend him or herself. An immense number of people vote in favor of this position. This is why this sin of murder falls over all those voting in favor of these candidates. They become accomplices to all those murders. God created life, and He abhors murder. You and the legislative authorities of this country might not like the simplicity that according to God, life begins at conception. That is what God intended since the creation of mankind. At the moment of conception, a divine occurrence happens. God sends a spirit in His image and likeness in a human being is created. God's analysis is very simple. God spoke to the prophet Jeremiah and told him, Before I formed you in the womb of your mother, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Do you think that God called Jeremiah a zygot, a blastocyst, an embryo, or a fetus? when he called him to be a prophet? Of course not. God called him Jeremiah. Mary, just pregnant with Jesus, went to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who was three months pregnant. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leapt in her womb. This baby, who was to be called John the Baptist, leapt in joy in Elizabeth's womb, because he sensed the presence of the Lord Jesus, who was just conceived. In the eyes of God, whoever approves of abortion is guilty of murder. This is true for judges, doctors who perform the abortion, nurses who assist, the mother and father of the child, family, and any other person that sanctions abortions, no matter the circumstance of the pregnancy. God is merciful and willing to forgive all sins, including the sin of murder. If you're guilty of this sin, He is waiting with open arms for you to repent and ask for His forgiveness. God will forgive you.